Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. Apologies, this video is a week late. I had a few other things I had to go off and do last weekend, uh, but I'm back now and I'm going to finish work on my um, form tool I was making for forming the uh, strengthening channels in my floor repair patch. And um, once I get that finished, I'm going to try and actually make my floor repair patch as well. So this is what I've got so far. This is my block that I machined at work just to have the um, the channel to match the actual floor piece that I cut out. So that fits in there quite nicely. I'm quite happy about that. And then these uh, radiuses on the top edge, I just uh, ground those in by hand. And I did a test piece uh, somewhere and it fits in there quite nicely. Uh, but one problem I did have was trying to clamp on this edge with like the big clamp like that. It's quite difficult to get in there and uh, hammer it into shape. Uh, so what I want to do is on one side is I've got a 4mm flat bar. So I'm going to weld that on there and then make some little triangle gussets. And then I'm going to drill two holes so that I can bolt part of my uh, wooden form tool on top and just use that as a guide. So I know I'm keeping that upright. Um, and the reason for just trying to clamp it on one side is as I form the metal, um, obviously the flat by um, flat piece of metal is going to be like this and then it's going to want to pull into this way and then so the piece of sheet metal is actually going to sort of pull this way a little bit so I just want it clamped on one side so I can use this as like a datum edge so I know that I can uh, bolt it here form it that way and then when it comes to forming the next channel I can move it along so much and then drill some more holes in my sheet metal, bolt that down and then form it so I know the distance between the first strengthening channel and then the next one uh, so it'll be in the right place. Uh, so I need to weld on my piece of flat bar along this edge and make some little triangle gussets and then what I'll do is I'll use my wooden form tool on top I can get it all lined up and then I can mark out those two holes so I've got something to bolt to. So I've got my little extension piece cut out and I've uh, just chamfered the edge so that when I clamp those together and weld them it should the weld should sink in there nicely. Um, what I am going to have to do is probably heat up this piece first because it's quite a big chunk. Um, so obviously once it's heated the weld should sink into that quite nicely as well. And I've got my little uh, triangle gusset pieces that I've cut out. Um, they still need cleaning up. There's a sharp burr on that edge, that cut edge. And I need to put a chamfer on the um, two um, edges as well so that when I put them on there and weld them that the weld will sink in nicely as well. Uh, so I've got four of these so what I'm going to do is have one uh, either end as far out as I possibly can and then once I've figured out where I need to drill those two holes for the bolts to go through I've got two more that I can sort of evenly space out in the middle uh, just to give it a bit more strength. So I've got my little extension piece mostly welded on. Uh, I did have to weld a little bit on both sides and I've just tacked in one of my gussets at either end because I needed to measure where to drill so I could put a nut and bolt through um, because I want to put part of my wooden buck on top just as a guide to make sure I'm uh, hammering it in a straight line, uh, hammering the channel in a straight line. So I just wanted to make sure that when I have a nut on the underside of this it's not going to bind on this little gusset piece that there's enough room for it to go on and um, tighten up. Uh, so obviously when I get my piece of sheet metal that will go in and then I'll have my 
piece of my wooden buck on top with some of the big, big washers and then I can nut and bolt it, form this section and then I can measure the distance from the edge of this one to the beginning of the next channel so I can then move over, drill two more holes in my piece of sheet metal and then hammer form that so I know the distance between the uh, actual uh, strengthening channels is right so it lines up on the actual floor in the car. So I just wanted to give you a quick update as to where I was with this and uh, obviously I've just got to drill those holes and then put two more gussets in. So I've got my bottom die pretty much all finished now, I've got this piece welded on and the four gussets uh, welded on underneath. Uh, so I've just got it stacked on a couple of scrap bits of metal at the moment just to uh, lift it up enough so that this shape here is just above the um, vice jaw and I'm quite happy with the way how this has come out. Um, and I've done a quick little test piece on my old panel. It's, uh, you can see it's uh, hammered in that channel quite nicely. I need to figure out what I'm going to do at this end. Um, maybe I could do another one of these tools where it's uh, chamfered down this way as well to get rid of that um, back corner. So that when I hammer it into here, it then creates... Um, where's the old panel gone? Oh, I'll use this one too. So like if I chamfer the back edge of my top tool, it will sort of create this kind of shape where it's got a flat section, and then that back bit will be ground away to sort of create that little um, edge there. So I could try and do something like that maybe to sort of do that. And then that would uh, sort of fix that little back edge. But I'm really happy with the way this has come out. Obviously, it's this is just a rough one at the moment. It probably still needs a bit of work to properly finish it off, but I'm quite happy with the... Uh, overall shape that the little channel's taken. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come back and pick this up tomorrow. Um, what I'll probably do is uh, just test out my theory, see if I can uh, line up these holes, clamp it there and then hammer in a second uh, strengthening channel just to make sure that the distance between them is correct. And then once I'm happy with the distance between them and I get all this bit neatened up and fix that back edge then I'll start making my new panel. So I'm back this morning and as you can see I've done a bit more work on my test panel. I've put a few more of the little strengthening channels in and I'm really happy with how they've come out. Uh, the distance between these first two is okay um, but I think what I've, what's happened is as I hammered in these other ones this obviously where this edge has formed this shape that whole edge along there has sort of shrunk a little bit and these two and the, that one is that those two mainly are a little bit out of line so I think as the panel shrunk they've uh, sort of moved this way a little bit uh, so what I need to try and do is re-measure um, these so I know that I'm hammering them in the right place uh, but I'm really happy with the shape that they've taken and um, what I did on this back edge you might be able to see it on this one a bit better um, I just held the tool at an angle as I was hammering it to create that sloped back edge and just sort of blend it into the corner there. So I'm quite happy with how that came out. Uh, so all I've got to do now is uh, cut out a fresh panel and start forming it into shape. So I've got my piece of metal cut out and already clamped in. I drilled my first two holes just in the same position as my test panel. So I knew that first one would uh, line up. And what I've done is I've just uh, scribed in a line along there. So I know roughly where I need to um, stop that back edge of the first channel just so I've got enough room to um, leave a flat section there for the spot weld and then I've got enough to uh, bend up for this back edge as well and then obviously I've got enough here so I can then um, trim a little bit more out of the car and make this fit up nice and square uh, so what I'm going to do now is just use my little uh, blowtorch I've got just heat up this area and uh, try and hammer for my first channel
So I've got my first little channel all hammered in now and I'm really happy with the shape that it's taken. Uh, a little bit of a wrinkle in the metal just there but I'm not too fussed about that. By the time I've uh, cleaned it up and painted it you probably won't even see that. Uh, heated up a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. You can see it changed colour just there. And uh, I've measured along the back edge and along the front edge and there's about a sixteenth of an inch difference. Um, so what I was thinking I might try and do is heat up this bit of area in between the two channels and just sort of carefully hammer that to sort of stretch out a little bit again and then I can drill my holes for the next channel and hammer form that and then I'll stretch out the next bit and uh, so on and so on. So I'll give that a little go, see if that works. I've only got to stretch out a little bit and then I'll try and uh, form my second channel. So I've got my second channel hammered in now and I'm really happy with the shape it's taken. Uh, it's a little bit shallow on this side, it hasn't quite gone down far enough but I'm happy with the shape anyway, it shouldn't matter too much. And I've got um, part of the old panel, which you can see those channels line up pretty well. I mean there is a slight bit of bend in this piece here anyway, so once I get that flattened it will, uh, that should sit in there quite nicely. But I'm really happy with the way that they line up. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is get measured out and uh, get lined up for my next channel. Uh, I'm going to try and do the same I did um, over here. What I did was just heated up the area in between and just uh, hammered it around this area just to try and give it a bit pre-stretch so that when I hammer form this it won't uh, close in too much. Although it is bolted along that side so hopefully it shouldn't move too much that way anyway. It's probably mainly over this side. Um, but once I get all four channels in I can obviously just uh, trim the sides off square and um, obviously I've got to bend up that back edge yet. But I'll get set up for my next channel and start working on that.
So I've got my third channel hammered in now and in the process I uh, knocked the pot of uh, washers off so I've got all them to pick up in a minute. Uh, but I'm quite happy with the way that this came out, it lines up quite nicely if I grab the old panel you can see it all lines up with that one pretty much all the way along. It's all got pretty much the same spacing so I'm really happy about that. Uh, so what I'll do now uh, get measured for my next set of bolt holes and I'll just do that little short one which I did on the test piece I'll quickly show you I just got that little short one which I'll try and form hopefully it'll work out as well as this one because I'm really quite happy with the way that this formed so I've picked up all my granddad's washers now they're all back in their little pot and I've got the last channel finished on my floor panel uh, it's a little bit shallower than the rest of them, but that's fine. I can just blend it into the existing floor that's already there. Uh, I've just mocked up uh, a line where the back edge will be folded, um, just to make sure I did space it properly, make sure there's enough room between each of these and enough room here to fold up and trim if I need to. Uh, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but the first one of these is straight and the rest of them, they all sort of go that way a little bit. I don't know if it will pick it up at all. Uh, so what I plan on doing is getting the centre two uh, lined up with the existing floor. And then what I'll do is I'll mark a line. I've probably got to cut a bit more here and less off this side. So it's going to be a bit of a angled line I've got to cut off of this edge. But that's what I'm going to do uh, next is mark this up and cut that edge. So I know these are roughly square. And then from there, I can measure back from this edge to make sure that this back edge, once I fold that up, it's square as well. So I'm gonna be leaving this video here for now. I'm happy I was able to get my form tools finished and actually form the strengthening channels in my floor repair patch. Um, all I have left to do now is to square up the front edge and trim that down. And then from there I can measure back where I need to uh, bend and form the back edge, which I will get done next weekend. So thanks for watching this video.